what were some of the struggles you think early on with, with, with Terry that, that you were facing that, that maybe you had to address or that, that you answered, you feel like? I think, um, you, you know, when I, when I started coaching at SC, obviously as an assistant, you're implementing someone else's program, you know, yeah. and, and then you get the opportunity as, as I got to Fresno State and um, quite candidly thought I had ended up in the swimming abyss. I was kind of like, well, um, you know, what are you doing? But, but I didn't, I wasn't worried about what the athletes were thinking, what I was thinking. I mean, my swimming background was very non-traditional. My mom was prim my primary swimming coach and I had a lot of success. And then I went to college and had, you know, a real coach and really didn't get any better and kind of learned a lot of things about um, myself and how um, that have translated into my, my, my coaching. And, and so I think when I'm at Fresno and, and the level of expectations was so low that, I mean, anything I would have done was, was moving us in, in the right direction. I remember the first day, like someone asking me what we do after conference. And I'm like, what do you mean? And they're like, well, we, we don't swim from, you know, February to August. And I'm like, well, we do, <laughs> you know? And, and, and so kind of building on that, I was really free in my own mind to, um, just trust my gut and do some non-traditional things and, and just create this overall experience. And then I get to Cal, that's a, you know, a, a North Thornton's here. Karen Moore Thornton had such a, um, you know, a, a great program. And, and, and I kind of, I know in my mind thought, okay, I coach better athletes now. I'm on a better program. I need to what, I don't really think it was conscious. I think more sub subconscious, like, okay, I go to a, a swimming clinic and I listen to a Richard Quick or, you know, a Mark Schubert or, or you know, John or I any of the, the um, Eddie tip, you know, the, the strong male figures in, mm. in our, um, in our sport. And I, I remember always kind of going, well, I don't, I don't really like look at it that way. And, and so I, I, I think what really happened is I started trying to be like other people rather mm. than be the best version of Terry. And right. when I was really struggling, I just, it, it, it just became obvious that I, to me, or, and, you know, through talking to, to people, whether they be, per, you know, professionals, I, I started working with um, Kathy Wickstrand um, mm -hmm. after she got out of coaching um, and was life coaching um, really like very instrumental in my career. And, and more of that was just working on me and, and having me have a better understanding of what my strengths were, what my weaknesses are, what can I do to improve my weaknesses? What, you know, how can I use my strengths to my advantage? And, and I think the, the main takeaway from all that is just don't, don't try to be the second best Richard Quick or Mark Schubert, try to mm. be the best Terry McKeever. And it, that's going to appeal to some people and it's not going to appeal to other people. And, and that's okay. That doesn't mean I'm doing something wrong because not everybody agrees with it or wants to be around that, um, you know, day in and day out. So um, that that's something whenever I get a chance to talk at a clinic, like that's, that's my biggest takeaway in life is just go be the best version of yourself, not the second best version of of whoever your mentor is, you know?